Hey guys, Benny here with another quick tip on the IDC25. The tech support team here get lots of troubleshooting questions about the IDC25. Now one of the most common failure points is the install, either incorrect cable sizing or bad connections. The IDC25 comes with six pre-wired labelled cables, but when it comes to a DIY installation, you're going to want to add a little bit of length to these. Choosing the right cable size and ensuring that the connections are done properly and securely is essential in avoiding issues. To make a sound electrical connection, all battery cables should be cut to the correct length. You don't want them too tight and you don't want them too loose. Cable lugs should be crimped or soldered onto the stripped cable ends. The extension should be done using our supplied butt connectors and all of your joins should be covered by the supplied heat shrink for protection. Now another essential point of the installation is your grounding. If you're going to ground to the chassis, you need to make sure that the steel rail is free of paint and powder coating and you're using the correct bolts, nuts and washers to make sure you get a good purchase into the steel because metal to metal always helps avoid collapsing under load. Now for wiring up to 12 meters you need to make sure that your cable meets the following requirements. For the alternator, output, ground and solar it needs to be 8 BNS. For the ignition override cable and the external LED cable you need one to one and a half mil cable. Anything less than these minimum requirements and you're sure to see problems then you'll just end up on the phone to us anyway. Now if your application exceeds 12 metres, like you've got a big Forby and it's right in the back of your caravan, then you're going to need bigger cables. So give us a call at Projector Technical Support and we'll sort you out with the numbers you need. There's no better feeling than nailing an at-home project. So if you follow this advice for your Projector IDC25 installation, you are sure to have a great result. Now that's just one of our expert tips on the IDC25. If that didn't solve your issue, or for more troubleshooting help, check out the links in the description below. Now if you learned something from this video, give it a like. And if there's any questions you want answered, just put them in the comments below. For more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and come and say good day in the Projector Switched On Tech Talk group. I'll see you next time guys.